Well, guys, following on from my video about the BBC's disinformation spunk trumpet, Mariana Spring, it seems the BBC presenter, John Simpson, has decided to white knife for her with the most ridiculous claims of abuse I've ever seen. I mean, some blue-haired lefty wet wipe is likely to be less offended by this tweet than the BBC Ponce who's being ripped for it now, but it goes back to what I said yesterday about the BBC and government wanting to use this to push more lunacy into the online arms bill. Here he tweeted, Another example of abusive and irreflective comment by someone who talks about British values but ignores the most basic ones, fairness, moderation and a willing to listen to other people's values. All done anonymously, of course. Now this came in response to a random account's comment he claims is abuse, but obviously it really bloody ain't. They wrote BBC boasts about having a disinformation correspondent, which is creepy as she's utilised to discredit people who disagree with her owner's agenda as she must reflect BBC and British values. Well, first and foremost, the BBC don't reflect British values, so I'd have to call fake news on that part of the comment there. Obviously there's no abuse in that, with it merely being a genuine criticism of the job she does and with as much bias as the Ponscum Emily Maypiss who helped her get the job in the first place. John the Mariana simp here clearly has no idea what abuse actually means and like I said is using the most basic criticism as an excuse to push for more censorship. This you can actually see from his final comment about all done anonymously which means sweet fuck all especially considering the comment was about as abusive as telling someone you don't like the people who employ them. I mean let's be real here he criticised the BBC employing her in the role, not her directly, which I guess also shows that John the Sim can't bloody read. You're an imbecile. Obviously, his take being as stupid as it is shows it's done to push an agenda and not because it's actually some big problem. I mean, if her getting such terrible abuse was true, he would have plenty to use to do this instead of the absolute bollocks he did. Now, another thing I should point out is the fact that everything he said are basic British values are the complete opposite to how the BBC and its staff act these days. Nowhere do they show fairness, moderation or are willing to listen to other people's ideas. Instead, they smear you with calls of racist, far-right or conspiracy theorists because you won't allow them to spoon-fed you bullshit. If the milk turns out to be sour, I ain't the kind of pussy to drink it. They don't like it that we know the propaganda merchants and some of the lowest pond scum the earth has ever shat at and his bullshit ear take proves that beyond all doubt to me I don't know about you. This though like I said is 100% being done to push the online arms internet censorship bill that benefits the BBC because it'll take away online people's abilities to call out their bollocks. Obviously that's what they want, it's literally why they gave her the job in the bloody first place. Pandemic. We're off.